Okay, the energy of Bastet, the cat journey. So, just take a few deep breaths. And try to focus on relaxing. For me, I'm just working on my spine. So I kind of feel the energy at the base of my spine doing this energy here. All right, just close your eyes. Remember that you are connected into the center of the earth and into the center of the universe in a pillar of light. And as you're breathing, you're breathing up and down this pillar of light. And just coming towards you now, in your mind's eye, in your imagination, imagine a cat that stands up on its back legs and walks towards you and she may have jewels around her neck and her arms and legs and she's looking right into your eyes you may see just one eye and that's okay she wants you to follow her now as she leads you along a path heading upstream right beside a swiftly moving creek. The path is well worn though narrow and you know that she follows this path often to the place where she is taking you now. You come to the base of a waterfall and off to one side there is a pool of still dark water. Bastet looks in and touches her image with one paw. As you sit on the edge of the bank and look into the water, see your reflection clearly the way you would like to see yourself. The image is wavery and does not hold still. Slowly it fades into the image of yourself as you really are. As you continue to look into the pond, the still waters begin to spiral, pulling your image down, pulling your vision down, to below the waters. With a splash, Bastet jumps into the water, down into the center of the spiraling vortex. Follow her, and to you, your surprise, you'll realize that the water is no more. You will see that it is only illusion and you fall gently to the ground of the cavern under the illusion Bastet waits in an entrance to a tunnel her head turned toward you her body ready to move forward. Scramble up and follow her. 
continuing down the tunnel, which gets darker and darker. As the darkness becomes complete, you come up against a hard, smooth surface. It begins to get lighter and you see that you are in a hall of mirrors. As Bastet prances from one mirror to another, you realize that these are no ordinary mirrors. They reflect much deeper than the outside of your body. There are seven mirrors. Each one mirrors a different image. And we're going to take the time now to look at yourself in each of the seven mirrors, inspecting each of these views. The first mirror. The first mirror shows you how you think you look. Have a look at that right now. How you think you look. The second mirror shows you how you really look. How you really look. The third shows you the soul view of yourself, the soul view of you, who you are as a soul. The fourth mirror shows the heart view, how you look from the heart. The fifth mirror shows your chakra system in full color. Your chakra system in full color. The sixth mirror shows you your true self, the best potential self you could be. And the seventh is your unified self at one with the universe. You at one with the universe. And follow Bastet now as she steps into and walks through the last mirror into a clearing where your friends and family wait. Go to each one and touch them. See yourself as they see you. Experience each view in its fullness.
And now, the Great Mother, the Great God, Mother God, Asna, enters the grove and holds out her hands to you. And as you touch her, experience the love she has for herself, which is the same love she has for you. Realize that by loving yourself, you can love all of creation as part of you and can be loved in return as part of the creation of all. Bastet wraps herself now around your legs. Reach down to pet her soft fur. And she gives you a gift. Take your gift now. And Rasset leads you back to your physical body now. Back to where you are. Back into your reality. Where you will gain deeper understanding of the images you saw. And perhaps you can write them down. Take a deep breath in. And out. And open your eyes. Relaxed and also fully aware. And we give thanks. And so it is. And it is done.